I am Farul and today we are going to practice some more yoga postures which kids can do at home on their own or they can practice with their parents. I also have a special guest with me today who is going to practice yoga with me. Okay, are you excited? Okay, so let's start this practice. So as usual, I want to start the practice with some breathing which will help you to relax and also prepare you for this yoga practice. Okay, so how we start? We are going to sit cross-legged. Sachi, can you come closer to me a bit? Yes, so you can see Sachi and you're sitting cross-legged, put your hands gently on your knees and just make sure you're sitting straight, your shoulders are relaxed and you're closing your eyes. Close your eyes and take some deep breath in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. We're going to do two more times, breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your nose. And one more time, breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your nose. We're going to gently open our eyes. Okay. You can also practice breathing like this. So you can ask your kids to side. So you come closer to me. Okay. You can hold each other's hand just like this. And close your eyes and then just take some deep breaths in again like we just did before. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Two more times, breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Let's do one more time, breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. eyes okay now we are ready for our postures okay so we're going to start with cat and cow posture Sachi okay so just come on all fours like this so your wrist under your shoulders your wrist is shoulder width apart not very wide not very narrow okay and your knees under your hips like this okay and knees are hip width apart okay so just broaden your knees a bit okay and open your fingers wide and let's start this cat and cow uh, posture which is really good for your back so are you ready okay now you breathe in through your nose get the stomach down and head back chin away from the chest and then you breathe out you round your back take the chin to the chest looking towards the belly button let's do it two times breathe in two more times breathe in arc your back Stomach down, shoulders relaxed, chin away from the chest and breathe out. Chin to the chest, looking towards the belly button. So one more time, breathe in. So this one is called cow. You can make a sound like cow, which is moo. And cat. Meow. Okay, and then we're going to relax in child pose so just take your hips back towards the heels and stretch your hands forward head down and then come in child pose so this is really relaxing it's really good for stretching your back your thighs when you get tired you can take a break with child pose and then you gently get your palms in you can also do child pose in partner Sachi do you remember child pose in partner so I'm going to stretch my hands forward and Sachi is going to come on my back yes and then just lie down relax just like this and then you gently come back and Sachi back on your mat now okay okay so this was cat and cow and child pose now we're gonna go in downward dog from here okay so come on all fours again Sachi come here closer to me yes so that everyone can see you we're gonna go in downward dog downward dog is a very fundamental basic posture in yoga practice so let's do downward dog it's really good for stretching your hamstrings and for your arm strength okay so open your fingers wide tuck your toes press into your palms 
and take the knees up, hips up, push your hips back. And make sure you're breathing. And once you push your hips back, push your chest towards your thighs. Don't get your legs forward, yeah, let it be back. And then you're just looking to your toes. And you're breathing. Don't change your position of your feet. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. And then from here, we're coming in plank. Come in plank. So in plank, it's really good for your core strengthening. Your body is parallel to the mat, wrist under the shoulders, and engage your whole body. So don't put all the weight on your wrist, okay? Uh, so your body is parallel to the mat. Yes, very good. Yes. And then gently, you again come back in child pose. Relax. And then you come up in all fours. Sachi, come closer to me. Okay. And then we're going to go in downward dog. Again. Sachi, can you do uh, downward dog in partner? Mm -hmm. Just, uh, so slowly come back. And then you come from front. And just show how to do downward dog in partner. Yes, like this. Are you feeling nice? Yeah. Very good. Keep breathing. And then you gently go back on your mat in downward dog. Go back in downward dog. And then you walk your feet towards your hands. And come in forward fall. And then you just gently go side to side. Relax. Or you can actually turn like this as well. Such a turn to me. Turn to me. Turn to me. You can hold each other's hand and do side to side as well. Okay. And then you come up. Take your hands up, Sachi, come here. And breathe in, take your hands back. And breathe out, fall forward. And then breathe in, come up. And breathe out, fall forward. And one more time, breathe in. And breathe out. And now we're gonna sit down. Sit down, Sachi. Come and just uh, extend your legs like this. Come closer to me. Come closer to me. Now we're going to do learn one last stretch and we're going to end this practice with some relaxation again. Okay? So we're going to do forward fall in sitting. Sit, take your hands up, breathe in. Uh, make your body long first. Lengthen your spine like this and then you go forward. And then try to reach for your toes. It's okay if you can't touch them. And then just stretch your hamstrings again, spine again. And then you breathe in, come up. And breathe out, relax. You can also do it with your child just like this. Okay, let it be here. Okay, face me, Sachin. You can open the legs wide, come closer. Yes, yeah, so that everyone can see you come closer. Okay, we are good. Hold your, give me your hand. Now I'm going to pull you. And then you can pull me. Time. And like this. Nicely done. Very good, Sachi. Now look straight here for today so we did some stretches for your back for your hamstrings for your arm strength we did some relaxation and breathing so we're going to end the practice with some relaxation again so either you can just straight sit straight close your eyes and do some breathing okay so Sachi you can close your eyes breathe in breathe out two more time breathe in and breathe out and one more time breathe in and breathe out and then open your eyes gently or you can also end this practice in this way Sachi can you look at me sit down sit down come closer to me come closer to me more 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 and then you can hug your child just like this and you can just breathe Breathe in to your nose, breathe out to your nose, come close, feel each other's breath, do some bonding moments with your kids in this practice and we are done with this practice for today, bye, thank you so much, yes, so thank you people, namaste and we will see you again, thank you, bye.